Welcome to my spare bedroom, now my art studio. As you can see, I spend a lot of time doing my work in here. Today, I'm going to create this colorful silk painting. It may look difficult, but it's really pretty easy. Okay, I've been making some sketches of ginkgo leaves, and now I'm gonna take those sketches and I'm gonna turn it into the final plan for the painting. So I'm gonna make what I call a cartoon. It's really a diagram of what the leaves in the painting are actually gonna look like. Once I've got the cartoon the way I want it, I'm going to outline it with a black marker so that I'll be able to see it through my silk. Watercolor is an extremely difficult technique to master, and when I started working on silk, it turned out to be so much easier doing the same kind of watercolor technique that I've been doing it ever since. Now I'm going to trace the design very carefully and not too heavily onto the silk with a plain, ordinary pencil. The pencil lines are going to come off when it's washed. I get most of my inspiration from nature, from leaves and fish, and the jellyfish at the Monterey Bay Aquarium just drove me wild. There's so many different colors and shapes, and they move and change. That I just love painting them and watching them. And now the drawing's finished. We're ready to put it on the frame. Start out by stretching the four corners so the silk is nice and tight on the frame. And now I'm ready to put the resist on the silk, on the lines that I've drawn. Here's my bottle of resist. And here we go. Resist is kind of like wax. It seals the lines. Everywhere that I'm putting it, the lines are going to stay white. The lines have to be fat enough so that they hold the dye in between them and it doesn't jump over the lines. So I'm laying it on as though it were glue. This will come out when I wash the finished painting in hot water. I'm just doing this very casually and comfortably. If there are a few lines that don't go in exactly the right place, well, that's art. One more thing, I'm gonna sign my name to it. Now I'm gonna put my gloves on so I can start mixing my dyes to do the painting. These dyes are called Procyon liquid dyes and they're specially formulated for working on silk. There are a lot of different silk dyes available but these are my favorite generic variety of dye because they steam in only 20 minutes. Some of the other dyes take five hours. Okay, they're ready to paint. The thing I love the most about silk painting is that when you put the dye down, it spreads right to the edges. You don't even have to paint up to the edges. It's kind of magic. Another wonderful thing about painting on silk is that the colors blend while you're working. All the leaves are dry now. There's one more magical thing about silk painting. It's called salt technique. First, I'm gonna add some more color. You have to work wet when you're doing salt technique, so I'm gonna add a little brown to the center leaf. Then I'm gonna get my rock salt and sprinkle it liberally on the wet part. And this leaf will probably look like it's been chewed by caterpillars by the time it's dry. There's a piece up on the wall here that has a lot of salt technique on it. Now it's time to paint the background, and I'm using a big brush that holds a lot of color. The painting's all dry now. I'm gonna put it over some newspapers that I've laid out four layers of newspaper underneath it, and I'm gonna take the pins out. I'm gonna lay four layers of newspaper on top of it, and then I'm gonna roll it up. The reason I'm wrapping it up in newspaper is to steam it, and unless it's steam set, this dye won't be permanent. Ooh, get a little bit of a facial here. So I'm gonna put my bag, which I've made just to the right size so it won't fall in the water, into the top of the pipe and cover it with some newspaper. And we're gonna let it steam for 20 minutes in my homemade steamer, which is made out of a vegetable steamer I found in the thrift shop, plus a piece of air conditioning duct. Should the timer go off? It's been 20 minutes. It's time to take the painting out of the steam. Here it is, now I'm gonna hang it up and let it cure for a while. This one's been cured, now it's ready to rinse. I'm gonna take it over to the ironing board now and get it dry really quick. Everything done but the framing. Now it's finished. Flip it over, take a look. 